because we are live in this final game too with the chief captain of calamity the purveyor of chaos the master of disaster it's von ivan in the north playing as the soviet's god rifle combined arms tactics he's one zero up in this best of five series versus mr helping hands the pride of britain the last british player in all of gcs and the last hope for the gcs budget immediately locking an ostrapon on his wehrmacht and it is a wehrmacht map it always has been it is, of course, Crossroads, and uh, newbies might ask why. Wehrmacht are the best combined arms um, faction in the game, and this map is so open. And as it's not only open, Ica, but it also is a weird hybrid of open with bottlenecks, which is perfect for support weapons. Yeah, MG42, they get the access to the best MG. It's also uh, another thing that makes cross Crossing in the Woods so good for access in general is that it's all open ground and then there's red cover along the middle so it favors long-range squads like grenadiers and volks grenadiers a lot more heavily it's also why brits are so good against okw on this map just those uh the long-range advantages pretty heavy this is the final Somebody's asked in chat, it is a best of five. Helping Hands is 1-0 down to Von Ivan, who's uh, living the dream and knows he's heading to either third or fourth seed should he win today. He's been told that by myself. And uh, he's he's competing hard, he's fighting strong. He may have already qualified for GCS2. His plane ticket may have been booked last night in secret. Oops, by AE. But um, this guy knows he'll get a high seed should he win the entire tournament. And that's why he's got to fire up his ass right now. Yeah, we well. So, uh, I mean, qualifying for the tournament has not stopped him from putting on an excellent show and playing his heart out. And you can never doubt the heart and the fierce desire to win of a competitor like Von Ivan. He's always been waking up early in the morning for these tournaments and he's always tried his hardest. And this, if he wins today, by the way, would be his first tournament win feature, which is open to EU players and is like a traditional standard tournament. And that'll be pretty impressive within its own regard. And he'll always be known as GCS2. Qualifying tournament for the Gretion winner. Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but it's still an accomplishment nevertheless. Bagration. Saying that, though, we do know Helping Hands is a hell of a competitor. He's had a huge sabbatical from playing properly and playing at an elite level. And he seemed to re-emerge yesterday out of the dark recesses of Foxhole. And he seemed to re-emerge... Having con countered, sorry, conquered Asgoroth, or whatever the hell it's called in World of Warcraft. Help me out, I Gab, you're a nerd. <laughs> I don't play World of Warcraft. Oh, come on. I'm a nerd too, but I'm a different variety. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, it is Azeroth. You nearly got it. Nearly got it. That's good enough. You know, 90% of the syllables and vowels, I'll take that, man. Um... And helping Hans emerge with a fresh mind and a fresh state of being, and he's playing damn well today. Despite losing as USF against Wehrmacht, which, to be honest, 90% of players would do, he's now as his preferred Wehrmacht faction. And uh, it's starting to look a little bit better for him. Yeah, he's uh, had a pretty strong start with this Ostrup and just closing out the map now, forcing Von Ivan to flip between, between the sides. Um, forcing Von Ivan to react to him rather than helping Hans having to react to Von. And uh, yeah, just good taking it, good taking of initiative. T2 out already for Hans. Three Tier fuel away. Tier two out, and that's the great thing about Ostrup is they can get it ultra quick. Talking of which, the uh, the guys from the east have escaped there. Just about gotten away with their lives in the. The fiery face of a Rock Nine flamethrower. Should be said though that Von Ivan went for the guard rifle, so his conscripts will get access to PPSHs, which is the definitive counter, I believe, to to all stripping. Two five one about to hit, as is a second MG forty two. Hands playing overwhelming Ostrupen to a high level. But um, we've got Von Ivan, Icab. Von Ivan is the player that has held the number one spot as Soviets 
for the highest amount of time. He had a huge prolific journey throughout 2017 as number one Soviet and uh, he'll always be remembered as the player that mastered this faction and then pretty much gave up playing it in an auto match because you know what's more to accomplish as them. So he knows how to make it work and he can do and when his T70 hits and then when it seeds way to T34 so in this case Clement Lidera Shilov tanks um, you're gonna have to hide and cower in the might that is the Von Ivan's tank micro. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but Ivan has managed to make himself on the map as well. Um, I thought it looked bad, but Von Ivan now has cornered hands into a small part of the map. It's going to change shortly once the FHT gets moving, but... Yeah, actually a pretty nice counter-attack by Von Ivan. Not bad at all. He's, uh... He's a man on form, is Von Ivan. A year ago or so, these guys would have been perfectly uh, balanced as players. But uh, right now, in terms of seeding and overall expectation, Von Ivan is the higher seed and has more expectation placed upon his shoulders. As the 251 hunts down those conscripts. Let's go through the trees and get a better angle on that one. Oh, are they going to die? No, they're not, thanks to the 18 aid. One last burst of flame isn't coming. They saved the life, did these conscripts, just to the right of your picture. Huge amount of manpower damage that done though. And uh, this just slows one Ivan down. Which is all he needs. 20 manpower per squad member, 100 in total. Uh, it, it is a significant amount, but I'm sure he'll recover in good time. And that's the difference, man. It's 240 for a squad wipe or 100 for nearly a squad wipe. If ever you wanted a, the true explanation of why squad preservation matters, it's that. Yeah, it's uh, like off this one model, you're doubling the manpower damage you're doing. Also, you're killing veterancy, which is invaluable. A vetted squad. Ooh, very close oh. to dying, nothing to follow up. Should be okay. Perhaps a pretty... Uh, Suboptimal play by Von Ivan because he just depleted the last of his muni. On crossing as well, once you've lost the initiative on the map, because of the way the muni is set up, you kind of lose muni income for very large parts of the game. But think about it this way: the Pioneer is currently retreating, and the 251 is going to be out of the game for another, you know, 10 to 20 seconds, let's say, because of the extra 18 aid. So it all kind of helps a little bit. But I would agree with you in general. I'm just saying, there's a slight mitigation there. Elsewhere in the west, Ostrupinov branched out to finally try and cap a fuel for helping hands. He's really not being prioritizing that at the moment. They're not by any fault of his own, it's just been excellent play by Von Ivan. Yeah, it's uh, Von Ivan is just constantly f switching from side to side, which I love seeing. Um, it represents a very tactical approach to the game. Um, a tactical mastery of the game. You lose on one side, you move to the other. Especially when you're only a get when this powerful FHT unit can only be on one side at a time. To try and split its attention. This is the problem with Soviet. So all this uh, manpower starts to add up, and it starts to take increasingly long to get back on the battlefield. If you've gone for four cons and delete units. Yeah, for sure. He has a lot of fuel, in fact. He could have gone T70, but the manpower drain, as you said, has just built up to critical levels. Helping hands battling back, taking advantage of this ebb and flow, to and throw, back and forth gameplay. Von Ivan's ready, though. He's got a train of infantry, proper Soviet style. A green swathe of humanity marching across that road and into battle. Very. I have to say, it's very risky to move like this, though, especially on crossing. MGs can shut down your entire push. Let's see if that's a possibility here. There is one waiting for him. Um, it's not quite got the angle, though, so it should be okay and be able to spread and uh, dissipate. But it was risky all the same, Ica. Yeah. MG slightly mispositioned here, but the FH, the Flamer Heart Track just does so much damage it almost doesn't matter. Well, they're pushing in in a big way here. 251's out. There's another two conscripts coming in. 
the um, MG is going to hard retreat. 251 should be able to get within the confines of the base bunker, though, so everything should be okay. We'll just, by the way, had supply drop. So we've had some nice juicy weapons brought in. The MG34 and, of course, the Pac-40. And that's an excellent utility, the Austrian Doctrine. Oh, and talking of excellent utility, where's that 222 gone? Killed by guards on an 18 aid. That's unfortunate. I like. I, I also just noticed that Von Ivan reinforced his guards with conscripts. It makes sense here because he's against Ostrupen and he's not really going to be taking manpower losses to infantry. Why don't I get capes, Strunniki? You know, that's a crap Dane impression, but uh, they don't all get capes in the guard squad now because there are some conscripts amongst them. Indeed. Plus, it's summer weather, so a cape will just get sweaty around your neck. Still, though, hands maintaining a pretty decent amount of the map. 251 pushing in. Veterancy 2 pushing away those units before they can lose too many models. Talking of which, the 251's on the warpath right now. Here comes the 18A. Will it be enough? Yes, it will be to, to deter the destruction of that guard squad. Great positioning by the conscript. That could have been disastrous for Vaughn. The conscript wasn't really pushing, it was just waiting in the flanks. And then, yeah, it was exactly where it needed to be to save about 500 manpower. Nothing better, than being now, in, nothing better than being in the right place at the right time. And uh, some such fractions in this game at certain points. T70, as ICAB rightfully mentions, is on the way. And as always, that is the difference maker in this early to mid game period. But with Ostrup, and I know most Wehrmacht players would have had a pack 40 out, but they're able to get one out um, a little bit more easily, airdrop it into position, and um, no build time. There you go, just needs the plane. Not sure yeah. I'll stand by my point there, but never mind. There is a pack 40, that's what I'm trying to say. To Two of them, in fact. But uh, it's more effective on this map than Crossroads, for example, because two packs can shut down huge parts of the map for the T70. And uh, he's also got Telemines in very good positions. One here and one obviously to the south part there. We just had a damaged engine on the 251. We've got another co conscript rushing in behind the MG. Again, no follow-up, so is it just wasted? Munitions, we'll have to wait and see. In fact, he's not even able to get it off this time. Yeah, hasn't even managed to upgrade DPs on his guards. Been so muni pressed this entire game. It's a disadvantage of MG34. Well, it did suppress in time, just about here, but it isn't quite as quick as the MG42. Yeah, it's about half the damage and suppression, I believe. There you go, it's just about managing to do it, but not in time for the combat engineer to rectify the situation, and it is pushed away. Feels OKW, man. And to think OKW, you get this MG for as default. It's still an MG, you know, I mean, it's it's not bad, but... OKW just used to be about five folks radius with Panzerschrecks and no other units. <laughs> I think they should count those, those stars, count themselves lucky. The golden days. The golden days. Is that when you first got into the game? Oh man, I remember. I think I was a beta tester for yeah, for the Western Fronts, and <laughs> oh, it was so troll. It was oh. with the trucks and all that. I think we're still technically under an NDA from four years ago. So you know, oh, yeah, Doctor yeah. Robotnik could come after us. We just don't know. So let's have a look at the tack map, and we'll see in full. Glory that Von Ivan is in control, but is it only temporary? It's pretty hard to make a comeback with Ostrupen. Once you're off the map like this, it kind of stays this way. Uh, I mean, Hans is kind of close to a Panzer IV with his current fuel income. Give it four or five minutes and I'll have it, but it gets really rough from here, man. Guards will finally get their DPs. First set of conscripts, I believe, have started their PPSH upgrade. 
Yeah, it just gets really hard from here. It can do. It absolutely can do. We know there's some good Talas in position, so Hans can capitalise on that. But it's without having those Grens with LMGs that he really begins to suffer. Um, he does have the support weapons, though, it must be said. He's got Vet 2 on one MG, Vet 1 on the other. But look, at he's got now got PPSHs to contend with. Not a speciality on this map, but they'll certainly start to win out against Ostrupen. Was the uh, were the MG42 not in full position? Yeah, it's just hard, man. It's like Grens are so good on this map. Another Panzerfaust missed, by the way. It hit the terror. Oh, did it? Oh no. Conscript's about to go down to the flame or half track. Head over to that now. Indeed, it does go down. There we go. Got multiple engagement from multiple angles. There's a classic Von Ivan engagement. He's pushing from directions. He might get an Ostrup in here with the T70. He won't, it seems. Neither will the guards be able to follow up. Elsewhere, we've got an engagement over here. 251 did get rifle naded. That's all that's going to happen. Von mm, just keeps burning these 18 heads, but. It's, it's a lot of muni that's going towards delaying the flame of half track as opposed to killing it. Good pressure being put down by the T70 up to 6 kills. Hans has been able to secure that central victory point. And uh, let's have a check on base. Of course we do see the support armor core up. He's getting 105 fuel very shortly. Going to get 120, the ever vital Panzer IV territory. Um, Me mechanized up for Von Ivan though. He might go for a KV-1. Oh my lord. Of course you need 145 fuel for the Clement Vereshiel of the, the ultimate uh, early war heavy tank. Just a beast made of pure stalinium. Oh, Not yeah. quite as much purity as in the IS-2, but it's yeah. there. He hadn't perfected the uh, blend in that one. With the KV-1 it was mostly tears of the wives of... Uh, Red Army officers that had been purged. That's how it was used. But uh, yeah, so they hadn't fully perfected it. We then later learned that Stalin chest hair was a better aggregate for the steel. Indeed, it just binds binds the steel so well. AT, oh, AT gun. About to fire on the flame of half track. Only one though. There's only one shot, and the 251 will escape yet again with Veteran C3. T70 uh, closing in on the all-important bet too, um, where it gets the map pack. There you go. And hands again. It's clinging on to one victory point. He's doing an excellent job of surviving in this game. This yeah. gun barrage takes out one oh. MG. Is there a follow-up? Doesn't seem like it. Yes, there is. It came out from beneath the woodwork. Like cockroaches when you turn the light on. Von Ivan's there. Pioneers just about get there in time. The 251's also out offering great resistance, as is the Zisk gun. Follow up shot, maybe? We have lost an MG team. He gets it. He gets the MG. Will he get the 251 max range? I'm Hail Mary, maybe. That would be crazy. I don't think that's going to happen. But he does get the MG, and that's going to become a six man MG 42 ICAB. That is every Wehrmacht player's nightmare. Yeah, absolutely. This is. Uh... This is truly Hans's worst nightmares realized. There is a Panzer IV on the field now, but the counter is going to be the KV-1. Oh my lordy Jesus. The Panzer Mark IV, the most produced German tank of the war. And it is a great utility vehicle. It comes in many colors and it's got loads of options you can add to it, like an MG-34. Not great MPG though, it only does uh, 10 miles to the gallon and fuel resources are scarce. But here the T70 is lacking in health, it's got a damaged engine, will the Panzer IV finish it off? No, it'll attack this piece of grass instead, will it have another go? I'm very deep with the Panzer IV. Oh! Yeah, wow. to get out. There's no luck in this game, apparently, according to him. That's unfortunate. Um, he does mark target with Panzer IV, I believe. Oh no, okay, that's the okay. supply. Sorry. Actually, Twitch nerds, I did say tank, and the Stug is actually an assault gun turned into a tank destroyer. It's an armored fighting vehicle. He did actually have the most confirmed vehicle kills of any German AFV, but it is not a tank. So, uh, you know, just shut up for a little while. Let A do his thing. 
KV one of Go on, ICAB, give it a hype introduction. This is a big fat bastard, and I want to hear you. As a, as a fellow big fat bastard, I have to say the KV-1 is a creature after my own heart. It look, at, look at it, dude. It's like point blank to two packs, and it's like, whatever. Whatever, boys. You can keep pinging me all you like. Like ICAB, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the KV-1's after a kebab, but in this case, the kebab isn't a meat skewer. It's German skewered, and he's going to go for it right now. 45 tons of early war heavy tank. It's getting countered, so we can't hype talk anymore, I can. It is getting dumpstered pretty hard. <laughs> That's what happens, mate. You cast, you say something's good, and it'll just get dumpstered. The sector has been cut off. Um, I mean, it didn't do too bad. It was, it was all right, but, yeah. That's, that's the brilliant thing about the KV-1, though. It's just the... It's just a good little meat shield. It is. It's a meat shield. It's probably a kebab in itself, I guess. In fairness, though, the AT nades, um... He did manage to decrew the AT guns with it. Oh, this gun firing. MG's fear, that's so much. And the guards finished it off. That can now attack round the uh, MG and do the same. Hans could be losing his Wehrmacht on crossing in the woods. The Wehrmacht speciality map, that would not be a good psychological lead. Yeah, the Ostrupen were a mistake here, I think. Um, Grenz are just so insanely good on this map. Um, these support weapons, man, they just got flanked a little too hard over and over again. Vaughn with his, you know, excellent positioning. Just, just constantly finding... He the banged gaps. on ICAB, he, he did that, and he just came out from so many unexpected angles. He found those angles and he timed it perfectly. Yeah, and like, Ostrophon can't really protect flanks from PPSH constructs, they just don't do enough damage. Now there's a Katusha, this counters all the hands has left, the support weapons. So it gets very, very difficult from here. An 18 8 expected, but this conscript could pay with its life. Wouldn't do that, but uh, it was all for nothing. But uh, Von Ivan doesn't care, he's got a Vetusis wailing on this Panzer IV. He's got the Stalin organ, he's uh, opening up a salvo and singing a song. Is it going to be a symphony of destruction? Firing into Fog of War at max range, though. Mm. He does get one model drop, but oh, look pretty on the spread. Well, yeah, it's like minus 50% accuracy for firing into Fog of War, and then max range is insane spread anyway. Mm. Basically guaranteed to hit nothing. Pack about to go down to some conscripts. Could be a nice uh, find for Von Ivan. And just further cement his lead in this game, a strategic lead. MG42 will mitigate, as will the Panzer IV. Just sit on that pack until it's recruited. Protecting their assets. T70. If you have a look over at Von Ivan's Fog of War, he basically sees the entire army of hands with just this one T70. Oh my lordy Jesus. And the Ziskun's now firing into said opponent's territories and uh, just adding further insult to injury, keeping him at bay. At least Hans has the uh, railway cannon. The railway artillery support. Maybe Von Ivan will. Um, his headphones will stop working and somehow he'll get exploded by it. Uh, it's pro analysis by E. I, th I think Von would have to have a minor stroke for the railway artillery to hit anything. KV1 repaired. Oh, the meme machine is on zero kills, but those kills are about to climb as the Ziskun kills everything oh. before it can even get there. Ostrupen become dead Amazing. Rupen. And uh, there we go. Just amazing. Oh, Kasusha taking out the pack as well. See, this one, that one was being given vision by the T-70. I see. You've played this game before. Nice. Oh, KV-1 penetrating. 
on the Panzer IV. There is a Telemine in the distance, but it will not matter because the KV-1 already gets the kill before the mine doesn't even detonate, so Hans can't even buy um, any stroke of luck right now because Von Ivan, quite frankly, is having several strokes of genius. And um, it's pretty much leaving him in a decisive and uncounterable lead. Yeah, that's rough, man. Um, it's kind of difficult to do anything at this point. Second KV-1 in the build, Katyusha to counter your packs and your MGs. You only have a lone Panzer IV. Three packs, I guess, two MGs, but he has no infantry. I do not count on Ostrupen to do anything, quite frankly. They're great for the first five minutes of the game. Because they allow you to get into a quick tier 2 and they allow you to cap a bit more of the map than you otherwise would be able to. But uh, as far as scaling goes, what scaling? Yeah, exactly. They actually become kind of passable with the T4 LMG, but this game, after about 10 minutes, I don't think the Ostrupen got a single kill between all three squads for 10-15 minutes. Their own... Oh, railway artillery deployed middle. <laughs> This could actually be good. No, nope, Schwerger stuff misses as usual. No. Took out those bushes though. Oh, that's good. Von Ivan hates them. The enemy has killed a machine gun. Again. Now these bushes aren't by. One more shot. It's gonna be a big one. Oh. Helping us was doing him a favour, but it didn't seem to help the bushes survive. Panzer IV goes deep for the Katusha, but he, he might get the Katusha right <laughs> He can see the Katusha, that's just so annoying. You know he's going to get it, the convention is trying to block, he misses! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if he doesn't kill it, that's so funny, he does indeed kill it, and then bounces the KV one shot. This is a classic case of uh, not worth. Drove off the map there and exploded asunder as the uh, Sturmoviks are called in, flying over your screen and causing all kinds of peril and trouble as the KV-1 decrews the third of three packs all in a pretty row and Helping Hands has been forced to surrender. And we're back. Let's uh, see if a certain Mr. Gaddafi is ready. 